Whoa, 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 whoa. What's a good spot for this? Let's put it right here. That light behind me is harsh. What's up, everybody? What's happening? Happy Thursday. We're back for another print Thursday. Another live print Thursday. This one is messy. So we'll put that to the side. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. Come on in here. Let me know where you're joining in from. Drop your city and state down below. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's happening? Da 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 da. What's happening? So the question here is, what else can you heat press transfers to for your brand? What else can you heat press transfers to for your brand? And today you're in the lab again. Happy Thursday! Happy Thursday! Come on in. Drop Happy Thursday down in the comments. When you come in here, hit the like button. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Where you're tuning in from. We've got some transfers, but I got to kind of like alter this based on the design. So we're going to cut off the phrase off of this design. Tampa is in the building. What's up, Tampa? I appreciate the comments. Come on in. Hit the like button for me. Let's get started. We've got a few items here to print today. I think after testing and everything, we may only have maybe 20 bags to do. But as you can see on the title, it's like, what else can you add transfers to? Let me know. Can y'all hear me good? Because I know the phone's kind of far. What else can you add transfers to? How about some tote bags? How about some tote bags? So we're designing these tote bags today. It's going to be double-sided. I did it live last night trying to figure out, should we do, do you prefer one-side tote bags or double-sided tote bags? And folks on Instagram's like, double-side, double-side. So we did it, and we came up with a design, right? And we're going to complete the rest of these. This is for my brand-new brand, Sunday's Merch, sundaysmerch.com, sundaysmerch.com. So this is the product we're doing here now. And they are going to be available. We're on, this is three weeks straight now of us printing the merch. So week number one, we did 12 hats, right? This is how I started, just to break this down. Week one, I started with 12 hats, right? So if I was documenting this process, we started with 12 hats that were gold. Remember the gold hats and it says, God is bigger on the front. We went and we sold those that same weekend, 12 hats. You might think, oh, my goodness, that's that's just 12. Anybody can sell that. But some people can't get rid of 12 hats. But me, it is a Christian brand, and I'm in church every single weekend. So I already knew my target audience, and they were going to value from that. Okay? So sometimes I would I tell people, most of the times, like, oh, how do you figure out your niche? You're already probably in the mix of your target audience. Just put something together that they can value from. And that's how Sunday's merch was born. Okay? So we sold the first 12 hats. It was to the point where I even sold the hat off of my head. All 12 of them. Right? And then we went back week two, which was last week. We did another 12 hats. And that was these. Pray and worship. That was the second batch of 12 hats that we ran. And we got rid of all of them. This one here, I left it at home because somebody wanted it and it still haven't like picked it up yet. So I actually started rock- rocking it because they didn't pick it up yet. So at least I got one hat for myself. So we sold 11 of those hats. I should pay for this myself, right? That's the proper business. Technique. You should be buying your own product. Why not? But so now, this week, we're doing the tote bags. We're doing the tote bags. This, these are 25 tote bags, and we're also doing 24 more hats. Okay? Except this time, we're running the black hat. 
I believe I'm still going to do the pray and worship, but with black and white. All right. Or maybe we'll do a dozen because there's two dozens here. We'll do a dozen one design and a dozen the other design. Last time with these hats, we did vinyl. You remember last week's live, we did vinyl. But this week, I've already ordered transfers for these exact design here and two other designs. So once they get here, they should be here by, by tomorrow. We'll figure out what we're doing with these hats. All right. So that's where we're at today. That's the breakdown of the Sunday's merch brand. Week number three, we're in it. And we're doing these tote bags. So it's just going to have the same logo here. And what we have learned, let me grab one that's completed. Let me grab the completed prototype. It's actually staged over here from the podcast earlier. A little product placement. All right, so this is the bag right here. This is what we're making. You can see Sunday's merch. And then on the other side, it has the cross and then the brand phrase. A place where gospel messaging partners with tasteful fashion. That's the brand message right there. A place where gospel messaging partners with tasteful fashion. Sunday's merch, sundaysmerch.com. So this is what we're making now for this week right here. And my goal, I did the whole breakdown of how, so these bags here cost me $2, right? $196. And the transfers, of course, are 15 cents, right? We're just getting brand awareness right now. Brand awareness. That's the first stage that I'm going through is brand awareness. I want the whole city near me to be rocking Sunday's merch. Even if that's all that's on your chest, Sunday's merch, Sunday's merch, Sunday's merch. So all of the churches that I'm involved in, I only have one home church, but I do work with a lot of other churches because I run media, right? So I help a lot of other churches set up their media, work on their media and all of that. So that's what we're working on today. And as part of this brand here, I had a a, a plan or not a plan, but we're going to basically bring other churches underneath of the Sunday's merch umbrella. My goal is to help churches open up their own merch store in-house. All right. So tomorrow we have our first consultation with a church, Riverside. I think it was Riverside Gospel Church or something like that. in I believe it was many in Indianapolis or Minnesota. I forgot what city they're from. But basically the goal here is to help churches get their message out there, get a little bit of awareness on what their mission is by just like providing merch to the city, right? Or even in-house. Most of the time, churches, all of the time, churches are outsourcing their prints. What if you could have your very own print shop inside of your church? So now your, your fundraising budget can be used differently, right? So that's the ultimate goal of the Sunday's Merch Umbrella is to train churches to open up merch stores, either outside of the church, inside of the church. So now you can build community. You can have employment, right? And all of these different things here is not going to do every, anything but build your, your fundraising budget a little bit. So you're not so dependable on the tithes and offering. I know how it is. I've been working in churches now nearly 13 years. Right. So I know what the struggles are for print shirts and trying to get the church members to do it. What if you had just a shop online or in-house that people can just do? And all of these is going to be produced right with a heat press. So that's that's my core model there for the church merch. But then we have our own line. So even if it was like stores, ideally churchmerch.com or sundaysmerch.com would be somewhere where let's say the church don't want to even. It's like a brands of brands. People don't want to open up stores. They have the opportunity to have their brands on our store, right? But we'll get to that point right now. We are just focused on helping them build their merch stores. So tomorrow we have a consultation with a church. And if there's any other churches out there that want to be a part of this, you know, send me an email. 
and let's get it going. But this is where we're at today. And we got these bags, man. Like I said, they are tote bags. I got them off of Alfred Broder. It's kind of warm in here, so I'm going to have to come out this hoodie. My AirPod is in here somewhere. There we go. Much better. And this, though, because your boy here is a mess. I'm having a head, a bad hair month. <laughs> it's like, no. So we're just going to knock these out real quick. As will you keep my company, I appreciate you. Hit the like button for me. Let me know. Have you started your business, your T-shirt business? Are you into the T-shirt business? Or maybe you say, man, I'm just trying to print for people. I know what that is because I used to print for people. I mean, I still print for people, though. But I'm focusing more now on this and building the brand. Do that one there. So we're using TKO's transfers. Transfers from TKO. And this would be one side. So I'm going to flip this over now. We're going to decorate the second side. So let me know in the comments. With, with tote bags, do you prefer to have double side prints or just a single side print? Double side print or a single side print? That was a debate I had on Instagram last night, and most people would rather have a single side print because ideally I was just going to do the logo on one side or originally. But with the help of the IG fam, we were able to come up with this design. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Rock. I got a trash can today, but I'm actually still throwing it on the floor. Just like that. This is what we're rocking today. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I always start with a Get my center mark on here. Because even in the bag, man, I want the logo to be straight. So I'm going to fold that in half. Give it a quick pre-press like that. Get my center line. See that? All right. Easy. So now we'll take our transfer, which we've already got the center line too, because we did that earlier. Actually, not on this one. No problem. Talk bueno, man. Do it right here. Okay, and then we'll run these, knock these out real quick. I do have another set of orders behind me, but the transfers, still waiting on transfers to come in for that. And that's for these hot pink, these hot pink babies right here. That's for a girl's trip, girl's trip. So I uh, would always fold my thing in half. It's accuracy before speed all of the time. I've been doing this for years, but I'm still in the place where I say, man, I'd rather be accurate than to be fast. You feel me? So I take my time to place my transfers. The worst thing is a crooked design.
brand building right now. We're brand building. Building the brand. Sundaysmerch.com. That white transfer be good, especially on black. You can skip that white on white, white on black. Awesome. So I have to cut these just to get the symbol separated because originally they're one design. So I should probably do a bunch ahead of time. I always try to do them one by one because whenever I do like the center mark in stacks like this, I always get it messed up, especially when I'm cutting like this. It's the worst. You mess around and I cut. I cut wrong all the time. So I'm going to have to put this in the light. bags anybody ever printed some tote bags they're an easy product and a good money this is tote bags are fashionable it's a good beach bag a good market bag what's up jesse what type of transfer i'm using i'm using the plastic saw transfers 15 cents for tko Fifteen cents transfers from TKO. The like button for me. For me. Do it for me. I got a trash can right here and I'm still throwing stuff on the ground. I'm not used to having a trash can. It's not even an official trash can. It's a box. So what y'all doing on this Thursday, man? What's happening? What's happening for you this Thursday? Today. 
what y'all got going on today? Appreciate that. Any printing? Pretty busy for me. I actually just got out of production of the podcast. My wife and I do. I mean, I keep saying my wife and I do the podcast, but it's my wife's podcast. I just been guiding her through the process of like video production. So I've been the co-host, but she's about to fire me soon. This is episode number seven we just did today. And she told me, yeah, I need 10 episodes after this. I'm going to fire you. So I'm going to be fired soon. Another cool thing I did today was I started training. Actually, it's like his second day of training my eight-year-old to do the production. So he, he actually produced the whole show today, which is awesome. So when I get fired, at least he would have a job with his mama. <laughs> I'm actually preparing him for church, for church production. He would be the media guy. So getting ready to weed, eat, and cut grass. Awesome. I'm guessing y'all got good weather. It feels like it's a nice chilly day outside here. Not even feels like it is a nice chilly day outside. <laughs> I'm gonna do half of these here and then we'll finish the other half on Instagram. Oh snap. Well I thought that was the pre I thought that was the pre price. That was the actual real price. <laughs> and I stopped it at like four seconds. So I only needed a few more seconds. Why am I short one? I thought I just cut a Zach. Said I'm about to start my own clothing brand. Any advice? First of all, who is the brand for? Who is your target audience for this brand that you're about to start? So my advice is by asking you that question, right? So we can walk through this. Who is your target audience? Oh, I need this. No, earlier yesterday. Yesterday, I had some stuff up here. I always got stuff on the top of my heat press. If you do custom, it's a good product idea you can give to your customer. Some people don't know that they can do stuff like this for the love. Easy product to produce.
So you ain't never tell me who the brand was for. How you just post a question in the MIA? Or I ain't give you the answer that you wanted. You gotta work, man. You gotta work. You gotta work. So what should y'all look for in a good heat press? That's a very good question. So what should I look for in a good heat press? Man, I hope this doesn't steam my press, man. Every time I flip it on the other side, it's sticking to the trans to the um Teflon there, but that's cool. So what I would look for in a brand new heat press is something first to, to meet my budget that will give me the versatility of what I want to do. Size matters, right? So figure out how much space do you have. Based on how much space you have, then you can go ahead and get into the shopping because if you're if you have the budget for it, I would look for a 16 by 20 heat press if you can afford that at first. Because now this gives you the ability to print a little bigger, right? You can do it on a 15 by 15, true. But a 16 by 20 gives you the advantage now to be able to do your biggest things like hoodies and all of those stuff there without like running into issues, you know. Or if a customer comes to you and say, hey, I want a 16 by 20 print on the back of this with a 16 by 20 heat press, you're able to do that. Right, and without having to do with anything in multiple presses, you know. But fifteen by fifteen works. Whatever you can get, and then depends. Like, do you want? Are you a shop that wants automatic? Automatic heat presses allow you to do other things and multitask, and without burning the the uh, the stuff. If you was a busy shop and you need to do something else, maybe run and get something from the other printer. You would need an automatic press, right? So that's something I would look for or consider if I was shopping for a heat press now and I was asking a question like you are. But I got a list of recommend recommendations down below if you want to go and check those out. There's an Amazon press there. There's this key press here from Pro World. There's a link there from Key Press Nation. It's a bunch of products you can find in the description that might help you out.
Stars is a good brand. Stars is a good brand. I have been seeing some people complaining lately, but Stars is a good brand. My check, 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 check. Can you hear me? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Check, one, two, one, two. Let me know if you can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Check, 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 check. Damn. Oh, no. Good now? Sound is good? Does it sound good? We good now. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. I took a call. And um, so the question here was, let me scroll up. So what do you find is the greatest challenges in operating your business? Man, one of the greatest, when you say greatest, one of the challenge or some of the challenge, but the Biggest challenge for me right now operating this is being a one person operation, right? Being that person that's going to, that's in charge of telling people, right? And then also the person that's in charge of invoicing the person is the same person in charge of doing the product, ordering all of those things. So the biggest challenge for me is just like managing all the different parts, right? Especially running from home, all the different parts, managing those is a challenge. We do it, right? Like I do it, but it's still a challenge that you need to know about before actually getting into this, all right? So people might say, oh, why don't you hire somebody? I mean, at this point, like I don't really feel the need to hire people because I can control what comes in, you know, 
I want to be able to control it. If I was really back in the shop, because when we had the shop, we had people working there, you know. So, but for now that I'm home, I don't have, I, I actually don't have the the business to to support the other person, right, or to pay somebody, you know. And again, the main focus here. It's just knowing all the different challenges that is going to come with it. And I feel one of them is that time management part, right? So the other challenge now is, sheesh, what else? I don't know if this. I mean, the other challenge, too, is just, like, focus, right? Focus is a big challenge for me. Because there are a lot of other things that I'm involved in. It's not just printing shirts. So, like, trying to stay focused on that and managing the time is also a challenge for me. So, a lot of it is just time for me, man. Time, time, time. Having a lot going on and managing the time. (laughs) And to be honest, this one here I'm going to share with you. This one of the biggest challenges for me. One of the biggest challenges for me is 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 like shipping. That's a real challenge that I have. One of the biggest challenges for me is shipping. Shipping products, shipping out products. And I struggled with that a lot when I was doing transfers. And being able to ship people things out was a struggle for me. So reminder, the one-on-one, that's for tomorrow. It's not today, is it? Yeah, tomorrow is the 19th. Okay. Yeah. They're sending me a reminder of the one on one. That's tomorrow. So, yeah, shipping product is a challenge for me. Shipping product has, has always been a challenge for me. And you just need to understand like, shipping has its ups and downs. That's honestly something that I struggle with. I just don't like it. But this is why I do a lot of my stuff just online or locally. Not online, but like digital products. So I don't like shipping. Cause you can man, shipping you win you win and you lose. You lose a lot more than you actually gain with shipping. And that's the truth. Knowing what shipping softwares to use, knowing the right type of posters to use for shipping, knowing the right type of boxes to use for shipping. Shipping is expensive. Shipping is expensive. That's all I'm going to do on YouTube here. I'm going to do the rest on IG. I'm going to do the rest on IG. I'm going to grab some food, eat real quick, and then I'm going to jump on Instagram and finish these up. I got like maybe like 10 left. I just want to share the love with Instagram over there. So if you're not following me on IG, you should jump over there. Garment Creations. All right. Appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't. And appreciate you, Jesse. Appreciate you, Randy. I'm going to be over on Instagram. All right. Jump over there. I'm kicking with your boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out.